Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Today we are using jicama french fries as the base for this amazing poutine recipe which originates in Quebec, Canada. The macronutrient ratio for this full composite recipe is 2.2 to 1 with a total carbohydrates of 11.6 per servings but please note that 5 of the 11.6 total carbs are due to the fiber and inulin content of jicama french fries. To begin with, there are three easy parts to this recipe, making the jicama fries, using the leftover beef roast and gravy, and preparing your cheese. Before beginning, please preheat your oven to 190 degrees Celsius or 380 degrees Fahrenheit. To make the fries, make sure you start by peeling the jicama carefully. For this recipe, it is best to make the fries quite slim, about halfway between the regular fries and the skinny fries. After preparing the fries, place them in a deep bowl and add your oil, salt and pepper. Then toss everything to coat the jicama fries very well. Line a baking sheet with parchment and place the fries in a single layer on top of the parchment. Put your baking sheet in the top one-third position of your oven and set your timer for about 10 minutes. Please make sure you're using the top and bottom heat setting on your oven because you also want the fries to become a nice golden color. The actual time you'll need for your fries will depend how thickly you cut them, so adjust your time as needed. When done, the jicama fries should be a deep gold in color. But leave the fries on the parchment in the baking sheet. Just set them aside. While the jicama fries are in the oven, prepare your cheese curds. You can use real cheese curds as they do in Quebec, but I have a difficult time finding cheese curds in our local stores and they're also extremely expensive compared to cheese. So I have substituted full fat mozzarella. I have found that taking a full fat mozzarella block of cheese, I can make what for all intents and purposes look and taste similar to real cheese curds. To make your curds, break off a small piece of mozzarella, squish and roll gently between your thumb and finger. Since curds are of various sizes, vary the size of the curds that you make from about half a thumb size to a little bit smaller. When you've prepared all your mozzarella cheese curds, put them in a bowl and set them aside. Then get your reserved roast beef, or if you have leftover steak or have to make fresh steak, these will work as well. In this recipe, I'm using my leftover beef pot roast. I'm cutting the beef into one and a half centimeter or two thirds of an inch strips that are both that thick and wide. Then cut each strip to make one and a half centimeter or two thirds of an inch cubes. Also, if you're using leftover gravy, heat it up so it's a liquid. Then assemble the jicama fries in a single layer on a plate. Distribute the cube meat all over the top of the jicama fries. Next, place your cheese curds between the cubed meat. The last step is to pour the warmed gravy over the entire poutine preparation. Just before serving, microwave each platter for about 60 to 90 seconds or until you notice that the cheese curds have slightly melted. It's important that the cheese is melted and all the ingredients are very warm. In this way, you'll be able to taste the full rich flavor of poutine. As an optional ingredient, garnish with about one tablespoon of chopped cilantro over the poutine. Alternatively, use fresh basil, either as decorative leaves as I have, or chopped and sprinkled over the top. This keto jicama french fries poutine is an excellent part of a prep ahead weekly meal plan. And in this way you can incorporate your leftovers from your slow cooker pot roast or leftover steak in a much more creative and enjoyable manner. I hope you try this Quebec recipe. Enjoy. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please comment on this recipe, press the like button, share with your friends, and if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. See you next time.